Tonight, we are learning more about the two people killed in a crash last Friday at the Tacoma Narrows Toll Booth Plaza. Jeremy and Tori Kirkmeyer had recently welcomed a baby girl into their family. The couple in the 30s died at the scene. King 5's Lionel Donovan talked with some of their neighbors. I spoke with Mia Garcia today, who told me that she had just given the couple some supplies to help care for their new baby girl, and she can't believe that they're gone. Last Friday, tragedy struck at the Tacoma Narrows Bridge toll booth plaza when a pickup truck crashed into a car carrying Jeremy and Tori Kirkmeyer. The collision pushed the car into the toll booth, killing the couple. It's definitely shell shocking. Mia Garcia says she was a neighbor to the Kirkmeyers for the past three years. They would always go on walks and they would always walk their dog. And knew something was wrong when she saw a WSP patrol car near the Kirkmeyers' home. But she was shocked to learn that they had died. I called my mom. And she was like, she was just as shocked as I was because we just saw them. We just saw them not even a week ago doing what they do, just living life regularly. Jeremy Kirkmeyer served in the U.S. Navy and was stationed at Naval Base Kitsap Bangor. According to a statement from Submarine Group 9, Kirkmeyer was assigned to the Los Angeles class fast attack submarine USS Chicago and held the rank of fire control technician second class. As a Navy veteran herself, Garcia says that experience gave them something to bond over. That's what you do in the military. You just kind of bond over everything. All of the bad things, you just kind of laugh about it because what else can you do? The Kirkmeyers had also recently given birth to a baby girl. Garcia says she gave them supplies to help, but wonders what will happen to the child now that her parents are gone. And that breaks my heart because she's so young and doesn't even know what's going on. And as a mother of two, Garcia says she doesn't feel safe using the toll booth. You could be the be the safest driver and then someone negligent just doesn't pay attention and then it's your turn. The Washington State Patrol says the pickup truck's cruise control function was active at the time of the crash and the vehicle did not slow down. The truck's occupants, a 61-year-old driver and a 63-year-old passenger, were taken to a local hospital to be treated for their injuries and one of them has been discharged. From Silverdale, Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.